Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of our Let's Play series. Uh, today guys, I thought uh, we would have some fun at the beginning here. Uh, there's a concept in this game that's uh, fairly new. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before though. Uh, if you have elytra wings, you can like jump and then activate the wings before you hit the ground. And then uh, you can do something like this, where if you have a one block high gap, you can actually like get stuck underneath it <laughs> and start crawling around. Uh, I was playing around with this today, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to refer to it as tunneling here. I don't know if it has an official name, but uh, I started asking questions like, Let's say you have a flat surface like this. Is there some way of making like a bunny hole to get down into a tunnel? And turns out there is, and there's a lot of cool little tricks you can do with it. <laughs> it's a lot more of a flexible thing than I realized uh, until today. So for example, let's say we want to go underground. You can do something like this and go into crawl mode. Um, and let's say you want to get out. Well. You can't jump out of here, right? If you put a slab down, still can't get out. If you put two slabs down, you can, but uh, you can't actually fit between that little gap there anymore. So a cool thing to use is uh, snow slabs. You can set them up so you can just barely get out of here like that, and then you can still fit between that gap to get down, which is cool. <laughs> and it turns out, I didn't realize this, but you can actually like play the game when you're crawling around like this. It's it's really cool. So you can expand your tunnel as you go if you want. Okay, tell you what. Let's go f try finding the zombie, for example. You hear him? <laughs> let's go get him. So you can you can dig very easily while you're while you're in this mode. It's no problem. Um, and you can build while you're like this too. Basically do something like that. We can go keep going here. Now you'll notice here, if I try to go forward right now, it doesn't let me. It actually will will bump me back. If we look in our camera view, we're actually standing up still. We're not like actually crawling. Uh, so the, one of the rules to this is y your head has to be in uh, like a non-solid block in order to continue. Uh, if we try to go ahead here, our head is actually hitting the stone block above here. But uh, we can put uh, either a glass block or a sea lantern or, or something there instead that's not uh, an uh, con considered like a opaque block, you know? Oh, where is this zombie? I think he's... Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Actually, we don't even need to replace the, the stone here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I would be uh, curious, like, you could play the whole game this way if you wanted. <laughs> what kind of base would you end up making if you did that? I bet you that'd be a pretty cool challenge. Think we're getting closer. Oh, there he is. We found him. <laughs> Something I played around with a lot today was the staircase design. Um, I tried to find one that actually used stairs instead of slabs, but I couldn't find anything that worked, unfortunately. Uh, let's look at a few more rules to the tunneling here, get a clear idea of how it works. So if you're already tunneling and you ender pearl, you stay in uh, tunneling mode here. You don't you don't go out of it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, also, your player is uh, five eighths of a block tall. That's really important to keep in mind with this. So a slab is four eighths. We're five eighths, so that means we can't fit underneath this little space here. Um, there's only a, a few blocks in the game that actually go to this point three seven five. If you look at our y coordinate. Um, Daylight sensors are one of them, and that allows you to fit underneath here. So this is 5 eighths uh, tall where we're at right now. That's the tightest spacing you can get. Um, so you can do that with snow slabs, you can do it with daylight sensors, and another one is um, flower pots. Oh, ah darn it. <laughs> uh, we went out of tunneling mode. To get back into it can be a little bit tricky. Oh. There we go. We're fine. Uh, usually you have to break the blocks above you to do it. But yeah, these are also point three seven five. Oh, we're in danger. Quick! To the bunny hole! <laughs> Alright, I installed a door to our place here. Pretty fancy, right? Two-way door. Very simple. Uh-huh. Uh, we got some chests in here. <laughs> 
just goofing around with a few things here. Uh, so another thing to keep in mind about tunneling here is you can you can jump when, when you're like this. So for example, you could go underneath here or you could choose to jump to the second layer. Like so. And like in normal Minecraft, you can only walk up uh, half a slab or four-eighths of a, a block at a time. So you can do like staircases where you walk up like that, for example. Um, yeah, just lots of, lots of really weird things. One of the things I haven't tried yet I wanted to do with you guys is what happens if you set up uh, minecart tracks here? Can you like go in them and still see? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. We're even lower to the ground now. We're right at the rails. <laughs> Alright. Now if we leave, are we going to stay in tunneling mode? Oh, you fall through blocks. Okay. Cool. But uh, anyways, here is the main thing I wanted to show you guys with the tunneling. So I set up a little little tunnel over here. We can go sneak inside. <laughs> the whole the whole reason I was playing around with this today I, I is like, man, I wonder if you could do the the ice speed boost somehow. And it turns out you can. So you can do the speed boost while you're while you're tunneling here. Kind of cool. <laughs> so I put a tunnel from from over there to uh, the village. A little fast faster method of getting here. Oh! Might have to change that a little bit. And I use flower pots just because I don't want the redstone activating with the daylight sensors. I'm not sure which one's more laggy than than each other though. Oh yeah, and before I forget guys, I want to give you a big thank you for your response on that last episode. Uh, it's very encouraging, much appreciated. I think that might have been the best received uh, video of this series so far, actually. <laughs> it got like uh, just about 6,000 comments and uh, uh, what was it? I think about 18,000 likes, if I, if I remember right. So that, that was really awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, in that video, we got something to check out here. Uh, while we were checking out the shaders, I went down this path here. And some of you observant viewers noticed that I did actually finish this area. <laughs> so before the path ended about here, now we have a, a guardrail on the side. Um, some, some requested that I, we get a better look of it here, so that's why we're, we're checking it out. Got a guardrail over here, and I tried to transition this hill as smoothly as I could. It's kind of an awkward thing, but I think it turned out pretty good. So we got a nice gradual hill down. Um, got some droopy leaves hanging down. I had to do a little bit of terraforming to get the shape. And then I also uh, made a bit of a tunnel here to go through the hill. And all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, there's also hidden lighting throughout there in, in the leaves, I believe. Yeah, like there's a glowstone down there. Whenever I do hidden lighting, I always like to put the glowstone one block below the surface. I think it looks a lot better. And then you just put in an extra leaf block over there. Instead of putting it like flat with the surface or flush with it. Aha. Uh -huh. And also, um, I have pretty much finished this uh, fence around the village. So it goes all the way down the side here and all the way down that side there. Can't really see it. There we go. <laughs> so that's cool. And I got one more thing to show you guys here. Aha. <laughs> so it always bothered me. Like we had this big reed field here for so long. And it never really had a proper border to it. The sand just kind of ended. Um, and I also had a bit of a problem with it because Endermen were stealing the sand blocks and every now and then we would lose another reed plant. <laughs> like the soil was uh, slowly, gradually receding in as the Endermen took it away. Uh, so now we have a proper fence going around it and it should protect the reeds. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, put a possible gate over here. This is more of a placeholder. I wouldn't say that's finished. But I thought that might look nice there. Some Or something over there might look nice. Uh, we should probably put a path through here. Would be a good idea. And I also was playing around with the... What do you call this? Trodden dirt? Yeah. <laughs> so I got that kind of going around the whole uh, wall. <laughs> it's like fence, gate, wall. That's the one. Uh, so it helps the transition from grass to the sandstone, I think. It's a little bit of an in-between that kind of works with both the blocks. Oh, and uh, by the way, guys, Minecraft 1.11 was officially released, as I'm sure a lot of you saw already. So we've uh, updated in the series here. We're no longer on the snapshots, which is awesome. <laughs> and with 1.11, there has been some changes in the game. So 
I will say it's probably like one of my favorite updates, uh, but unfortunately it has broken a few things in our world here. Number one, I would say, is this uh, build over here. This is to convert uh, zombie villagers from a zombie spawner into villagers and then we can move them around the world. Honestly, I haven't used this too much, maybe two or three times, <laughs> but it, it was a cool build it, nonetheless. So the change in 1.11 is uh, zombie villagers no longer spawn from uh, zombie uh, spawners, which kind of sucks. So this is officially broken, cannot be fixed. And uh, likewise, this little build over here is also broken, unfortunately. Uh, not a big deal, though. I, I don't use this too often. Probably uh, maybe five times or so It's it's been really crucial. Uh, this is by our underground village. If all the villagers die, which has happened like five times, <laughs> then I use this to spawn into the zombie villager, cure it, and then, then bring it over to the village down this tunnel. Um, but we'll, we'll keep it both those builds just in case they re-add that feature later. All right, guys. So now I hopped over to our gold farm in the nether, and I just want to check if this is broken or not. This is that item loading system we built. Uh, there has been some observer changes, so I don't know if that did something to it. Could go either way. Um, I'm going to try to fill this up, though, and just see what happens. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to load it up one by one, and when it's totally filled up, it should switch to the next box. If it still works. Yeah, that looked good to me. Cool. So that seems to have survived. Now, I saw on the Minecraft Reddit today, someone uploaded a video of their gold farm and the zombie pigmen were spinning in it for some reason. So let's see if that's an issue with this. Like they were just spinning like a, a bell arena. <laughs> uh, not a problem there. Oh, it didn't keep going though. That's fine, that happens sometimes. Uh, definitely though, our conveyor system using piston translocation is not working as well as that elevator to the library is going to have to be changed and probably a couple other things I can't think of all right so this is good this is still collecting the the gold and the zombie flesh it's just not uh, bringing the XP to us so I'm gonna have to redo this I'll try to do that today oh can you not get XP anymore no, no, there is XP there. I just couldn't see it. <laughs> Actually, one of the problems with this build uh, is I put this one block too high, and that's why we have a bunch of uh, pigments stuck here. So I'm going to be able to fix that too uh, when I make the changes. Surprise! <laughs> here we go! All right, guys, so are you confused? You should be. I'll give you a little backstory on this project, though. This was something I started way back in 1.8, and then it broke in 1.9 just after I got, like, the start of this done, and I, I haven't fixed it since. And today on a whim is like, I wonder if I can get this working again uh, in 1.11. And sure enough, got it going here. Uh, basically, a bunch of command block stuff changed from 1.8 to 1.9, which is why it broke. Um, but it's definitely fixable. I just kind of got distracted from it. And uh, this was supposed to be like a cannon run video. Um, basically, after that last part there, they were going to jump down and start chasing me. But uh, as you can see, I haven't built any more to this. <laughs> so that's like a little teaser intro to it. And maybe, who knows, one day I'll actually finish it. But if not, at least you saw the, the start of it. All right, guys. So we are back to reality here, back in our Let's Play world. Uh, this is a few hours later now, <laughs> and this has been a bit brutal, this whole redesigning and rebuilding thing. So I'm, I'm starting to tear it down now. I, I designed each of the aspects in a creative world here, and now I'm starting to piece it back together. And hopefully it all works like I, like I want it to. <laughs> but it's anybody's guess whether or not this is actually going to work when we're all done here. 
Uh, it seemed seemed good though in creative. Um, okay, so let's maybe. Oh, that's not where that goes. Let's try to build a little bit of this together. Uh, give you an idea of how it works. So what we're gonna do is two sticky pistons here and here. Um, the bottom one's gonna be a slime block. Top one's gonna be a glass block. So this is gonna be extended most of the time and the zombie pigmen will fall down on top of this glass block and take damage, enough to kill them hopefully. And then every so often this is gonna retract and then extend to have the slime block push the stuff down the ice here right to the middle. All right. That's kind of the general plan to this. And now, what do we want to do? Let's grab some string here. Um, now, two blocks above this, I'm going to put a piece of string there. And I think I'm going to have an observer block over here is what I did. I'm, I'm doing this similar to what Snow Crash did in his gold farm. He kind of has like the best gold farm at the moment, um, if you're looking for a tutorial. Um, originally, I tried to vary mine by using the piston translocator trick, but that's gone now, so I kind of have to do what he did, because there's no other real way of moving XP except, like, with cauldrons or something stupid. <laughs> so, that's a little bit uh, too crazy for me. Uh, so we're sliding it across ice is the plan, which seems to work pretty good. So I just built a hopper clock here, so the observer goes right into the hopper clock. And this is what's going to control how often it shoots the items and the XP across the ice. And just in my testing, it seemed like 16 was a good number here. We'll try that out, but we'll be able to control it later if we want. And now we want to go down. <laughs> Building this is going to be tough, though, because we can't fly. All right, where do we want to go? I think we want to go over here. Yes. Can we get down a little bit more? Actually, I'm just going to put a little bit of a floor down for now. Also, we can't have a block under the slime there. Otherwise, it won't be able to move. All right, so from that, then we are going to grab the signal over here. So from that, then we want to use a sticky piston. We'll do a monostable circuit. So that'll go into there. And then go over like this. Redstone repeater set at four. All right, so this whole hopper timer thing here controls how frequently the slime block shoots the items across the ice, but we also have to control how how long the pistons retract for and then before they extend again. We It needs to be long enough that the items can fall down and land on the note block there. If it's too short of timing, it's just going to like bump them with a glass block or something, and if it's too long, then zombie pigmen will fall down on the note block and their drops are going to splat all over the place. So we want it to be just perfect. <laughs> and from, let's see, from where we left off there, we're going to branch down here. Okay, repeater. Set this one at four, this one at one. Block over here. Repeater set at one. And we got to get to the pistons here. Uh, for some reason, Slime blocks are acting really weird with sticky pistons. You kind of have to activate them with a redstone dust. If you use a repeater, it leaves the slime block behind. It's really weird <laughs> with this update. Okay, we got to get a torch here. So yeah, by default, these are going to be extended. So we'll do that. So if this, if this redstone dust wasn't down there, I think it's going to leave the slime block behind. Yeah, very weird. That's something new. I've never seen that before. So we got to keep a piece of dust down here, I guess. All right, so then what do we do here? Good question, good question. I think we go up like this and then in like that. All right, so yeah, this extends the signal to be a little bit longer um, so that these retract just the right amount of time. Get rid of that, get rid of that and that. And I think we are good, All right? Finally, just to prevent zombie pigmen from spawning, I'm going to cover this over with glass. Oh man, I'm getting really tired here. <laughs> this is a huge project, huge renovation, but we're uh, getting close to done. Got the four sides all complete, and it's really cool. Like They're all self-contained, right? So there's no clock that runs. It only runs if zombie pigmen are falling down that chamber there. And it shoots items to the middle. And now I got like the middle part done here. I got a cool wrapping of hoppers around around the middle section. You can see right there, 
like on all four sides there is a hopper minecart that's really important so as like the gold and the zombie flesh goes across the ice here as it passes over top that block it, the, the hopper minecart's going to pull the items down and go into these hoppers and into this chest here now unfortunately i was really hoping this would line up uh, with what we built here already <laughs> but we are like five blocks lower already so this all has to be moved down uh, if we want to keep it because we don't have the item filter set up yet that's going to take up even more space here all right let's go up here and uh, we should be able to test this out already i think we should test it out i, I got to make sure this works before we continue uh so here's here's kind of the weird thing as the items slide over here we got trip wires on all four sides so if we go down here yeah so as the items pass by um they do that it gives it enough time for them to settle in the the slime block in the middle there so they're not moving uh, when it flings them upwards and what else does it do <laughs> good question oh yeah there's a delay timer on this too so i'm hoping like if if a bunch of xp comes from this side and then a couple seconds later from that side uh it doesn't like mess the thing up but we will have to see when we actually test it here oh i missed a slab <laughs> Darn it. All right, let's go up here. We'll try it out. It's not all fully complete down there either. There's still some stuff that needs to be covered with glass, but uh, we'll do a little first test here. And then I got to also have like a secondary elevator, or maybe even two of them on the way up to, to bounce the XP again. Please work though. Please. So it activates right away at the beginning. Oh, wow, it shot like the baby out. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cool. I see some XP on the ice there. That's not good. There's XP. XP over there. Oh, big like spike. Okay. One problem. Possibly. Oh, no, it shot it. It shot it. Good. Um, is it going to shoot it upwards? There's a big pool of it in the middle there. I don't think that's running though, is it? What's wrong here? Um. <laughs> hmm. Oh, a piece of XP got stuck on one of the trip wires and messed it all up. Ew, that's not good. Ooh, it's getting laggy. <laughs> it's getting really laggy. Let's go down and get it. Oh, all the. Hmm. I wonder if our chest filled up. All the items are over here now. <laughs> items and XP. Okay, so I've been watching it. That's what it's supposed to do. Uh, it's, it seems I messed up the design a little bit, though. This delay system I set up isn't actually doing anything like I wanted it to. Uh, what's happening is because, like, when that slime block goes up, it brings four ice blocks with it. And those ice blocks are right next to the tripwire. So if an XP orb comes flying by when those ice blocks are up, it stops right on top of the tripwire. And that's what's messing it all up. So going to have to fix that. Unfortunately, though, I'm like really uh, out of it now. <laughs> I've been working on this too long. So we're going to have to wrap up the episode for today and hopefully get this finished another time. Let's finish it up here with a comment of the day, which says, Hey, Etho, if you get a new PC with a GTX 1080, will we finally get 1080p videos as well? Maybe even 60 frames per second. I would really like it if your videos got better in a visual aspect. Content-wise, you're among the best, but a boost in video quality would be awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Actually... I've been uploading in 1080p like all my videos for a few months now. I was kind of hoping people would just notice, but maybe I should say something here. Uh, we are uploading in 1080p. Uh, we are not uploading in 60 frames per second. I've tried a few videos at 60 FPS, but overall, I just, I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, you guys will help me, help me decide, I guess. But like for um, modded Minecraft, I can't do 60 FPS. I could do 60 in this series. But modded, I don't have the performance to do it. Um, one problem, though, with it, I'm worried, like, people on phones, I don't think you get the option to downgrade to 30 FPS, do you? 
I, I think I saw a few complaints on that, so I think I'm going to try to keep it at 30 unless you guys convince me otherwise. Uh, but yeah, my internet's actually gotten quite a bit better than it used to be. Like, it's been doubling every so often, which is awesome. Uh, I'm up to a 10 upload now, which is really, really cool. Back from, like, like I used to be a 0.4, <laughs> like, a few years ago. And we're up to 10. That's a big difference. I actually, I think it's 14. I just need a better router to, to get 14 from it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Happy about it. Can upload an, any video in like uh, like 20 seconds. Not 20 seconds. 20 minutes now. <laughs> Which is no time at all. The longest part of it is actually uh, rendering now. To render in 1080 takes a lot longer than 720 like I used to upload. But uh, it's not too bad either. Maybe about half an hour to an hour per video. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any feedback for me, please let me uh, see it in the comments. And until next time, take care. Have a great day. Even a good day. Bye-bye.